So now let's complete our discussion of the mean variance frontier with the Roll theorem. The Roll theorem we met a couple times, most recently as a consequence of the Lagrangian minimization approach to the traditional mean variance frontier, that uh, all returns should line up uh, with their betas computed relative to a mean variance efficient portfolio. Let's see the Roll theorem in state space as well. So that's our last topic. If a return is on the mean variance frontier and not equal to the risk-free rate, let's uh, translate it to a discount factor. The theorem I'll show you is there then exists a discount factor linear in the mean variance front in efficient return that prices all of the available returns. In other words, I can find an A and a B such that there's a discount factor linear in the mean variance efficient portfolio and then one equals E of MR. Of course, you know once you've found a linear M, that's the same thing as an expected return beta representation. That little bit of algebra we've done a couple of times, so you should be able to get back and forth there. So mean variance efficiency carries all that pricing information. Let's see that. Our goal is let's see that theorem in the state space representation. So I've got here the graphical version of the same thing. Uh, we want to show if and only if, so our, here's our objective. How do we get our discount factor in this case is just x star. I've got complete markets. I don't have enough dimensions on the board to do incomplete markets. So our objective is get from a mean variance efficient return back to x star. How do I find a, a x star, how do I express x star as a linear function of a mean variance efficient return? Well, linear function means let's go to the mean variance efficient return b times mean variance efficient return means stretching it. And then adding a means adding a certain amount of the one vector. So if I stretch out the mean variance efficient return and come back along the one vector, I get to my friend x star. We've just proved graphically that if a return's on the mean variance frontier, then by stretching it and adding a constant, I can get to a discount factor. I can price assets. I've got that information with a mean variance efficient return. And I can't do it if my initial return is not on the mean variance frontier. Let's try that one. Well, now I stretch out, I take an original return that includes some eta component. I stretch that guy out as much as I like. If I stretch that out or stretch it back and then subtract off the one, I can't get rid of the fact that I'm, I'm off, I'm too far to the side. I can't get back to x star. I'll always end up at x star and then something off to the side. So that's the if and only if. I can get back to x star by linear transformations if I start on the frontier, but I can't if I'm not on the frontier, meaning I can construct a discount factor from a mean variance efficient portfolio, meaning then I can express expected returns as a linear uh, factor pricing model using that portfolio. Algebraically, uh, here's the case with excess returns. Excess returns are always so simple you can do it in three lines of algebra. So I want to show that uh, if a return is on the mean variance frontier and it's not zero, um, then uh, I, I want to construct a discount factor and show that it works. So my representation means if it's on the mean variance frontier, it, it's just a certain amount of the RE star portfolio. Let's try a discount factor that is uh, linear in RE star, and I'll try some eta there and see what happens. So what do I have to do? I just have to take E of M times RE. Let's try to price an excess return with that discount factor. What happens? There's my M. There's my arbitrary excess return. Now, take the expected value of that product. What do you get? Well, 1 times RE star is RE star. RE star times RE star is RE star squared. But RE star. RE star times any excess return generates the mean of that excess return. So those two things are equal and go away. Then I've got the eta term, E of eta, eta prime, and all the cross terms are zero because everything's orthogonal. So I'm looking for zero here, and I've got zero if and only if eta is zero, i.e., if my original return was on the mean variance frontier. So that's the same logic that we use in the more general cases. Uh, with and without risk-free rates, with actual returns. Uh, you just have to show algebraically, uh, try an M of the right form, and show that that M works if and only if the uh, re return is on the mean variance frontier. So there's the Roll theorem in its uh, payoff space representation and connected to discount factors, completing our, our, our uh, 
tour of all the various different representations of asset pricing ideas. Thank you.